king. Because <laughs> 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 here comes another one. Howard Clark and I worked together for 18 years. Um, he was the director of the Victoria Foundation, and I followed him as executive director. Uh, when I spoke at Howard's memorial service at St. John the Divine in New York City, I said that Howard knocked on my door and changed my life. The reality is, Howard changed many lives over his lifetime. A son, a husband, a father, a nephew, a minister, a foundation executive. I can just tell you a tiny little story about some of the things that I remember most. Um, his life legacy of Cross Valley is in your program. I take great satisfaction in sharing with you that I introduced Howard to two of his favorite places, St. John the Divine and Frost Valley Y. I think, besides his family, those two things were the things he loved most. <coughs> Howard began changing lives almost from the beginning that we stepped into Frost Valley. On one of the first visits, we stood in Lake Cole watching our kids. There were no other, no children of color in the lake. We looked at one another and said, what a wonderful opportunity to create something for the youngsters of North and the kids in the suburbs to come together, to play and learn together. That was the moment that the North Campership was born. It had a shaky beginning. We, <laughs> we had some kids from um, St. James Academy, which is no longer in existence, that were, it was an alternative school for kids that were sort of hard to manage. And we brought them up, and I think it was Biscuit, could have been um, the other lodge, but they were on the second floor, and the kids were on the bottom floor, the, the store was on the bottom floor. And that night, the kids discovered the store. And the next morning, all of the kids from North were in splendid Frost Valley shirts and shorts and pajamas. And <laughs> but Howard and Hobby just looked and said, we should have locked the door. <laughs> Today, the North Partnership, Victoria Supported North Partnership, sponsors 141 children at Frost Valley. <laughs> the wellness movement at Cross Valley. Again, bringing nonprofit leaders here for a wellness weekend with speakers from all over the country. One of them was the head of adolescent medicine at the UNDNJ, who's now a Victoria trustee. He had a caffeine withdrawal <laughs> and couldn't wait to get off of Cross Valley's property so that he could get a Coke. But he swore off Coke. So Howard considered it a real coup. <coughs> Howard, Howard was very, very much involved with many of the um, leaders of the, the schools in North, one of whom, two of whom really, um, Sister Mary from St. Columba, and, um, and her name just went out of my head. Uh, another one, um, <laughs> that would bring kids up to camp during the winter and during the summer. But Sister Mary was especially um, a very special person. And she had a group of Hispanic, Spanish-speaking children that um, all were in one family, and she would bring them up every year. Um, one year, their mother actually died while they were here. Um, but they continued to come, and it was a place where they would get respite and remind them of all the wonderful things in this life. Many other children, PCCI, 13th Avenue, Discovery Charter School. I have a, a video, I should really turn it over to the kids, of a 30-minute video of the kids from the Discovery Charter School planting a tree in honor of Howard. <laughs> and every shovel is um, in the video. All of these kids had wonderful learning experiences because of Howard's work. Howard was very, very interested in moral development and ethical behavior. He found Cross Valley to be a place grounded in decency and strong development of character. Howard himself represented the best there is in caring for others. After his retirement from Victoria, 
He continued to volunteer for Cross Valley, working in the development office, and I know I keep catching up here over there. They had a ball. They really did. <laughs> um, he wanted others, though, to think about giving to Cross Valley, and he wanted them to, to think about planning during their lifetime for when they wouldn't be here. And so he established a living trust um, to set an example by establishing this living trust. I am sure today the Perk family, and they're all, almost all here, not all the grandchildren are here, but Brown is here and Priscilla is here and Priscilla, no, <laughs> Becky and Pr Priscilla and Alan are here and their children and their sons-in-law and grandchildren and Sister Lois. Would you all stand? wonderful times at the castle and Strauss as HEQ gathers friends and family to climb Slide Mountain and celebrate his and Barbara's wedding anniversary every year. It was a special time. Um, I am delighted that Frost Valley is inducting Howard Perk into the Hall of Fame. He exemplifies all that is wholesome, good, and exuberant at Frost Valley. Thank you. Children, Elsa, Carrie, and Leah. And we all made it. <laughs> and if you haven't read the little bio in the uh, the program, it says in there that the best thing that he did while he was at uh, Victoria Foundation was to hire <laughs> Kathy. And I'm sure that following, <laughs> he would be very glad to have them with her. The speakers today are hard to follow, and I was trying to think of an incident in Dad's life with Cross Valley that was analogous to giving CPR to a bear. If <laughs> 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 you look in the picture in the today's program, you can see right off, Dad is a big man. He was big in personality, big in person, human, physical, big in enthusiasms. And he loved Frost Valley. He just and he liked his his enthusiasm was infectious, and he would try to pass that. And, I, and he tried to incorporate people. He said that um, the five most important important things of his life all began with F: his friends, family, faith, food, sometimes in different orders, and, <laughs> and Frost Valley. And he would love his favorite times were when we were all together: the friends, the family, the food. His faith was always there and we were all here. It was really very meaningful to all of us. One of his primary values was inclusion, which the Newark campership was when the first thing he saw here, is that Frost Valley could be more inclusive. And he would have been really thrilled at um, Christian Reed's talk, and he would have used that as an immediate, he would have followed up on that immediately and done the philanthropic equivalent of picking people's pockets. Is that <laughs> how this kind of thing happens? Takes money, and it has to be, keep coming in. So he was 
he was just a uh, cheerleader for Cross Valley. Um, and I think Sam Nathanson said, there's nothing like the impact that Frost Valley has on kids. And that, that was the main thing that spoke to him. He was moved by the inclusion. He was moved by seeing kids take ownership and leadership, working together, different strata, all inclusive. It was really something that meant a lot to him. Um, in June of 1994, Dad represented Frost Valley, went uh, to England to represent Frost Valley at the 150th anniversary of the YMCA, the founding of the YMCA. And he experienced some medical difficulties while he was there and had to return early. And when he came back, he said, I am not traveling outside of Montclair again. <laughs> In September, he went with Amiko and Tatsuo to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, again, just Cross Valley was uh, the flood of his life, really. Um, he died the following month. And the, the family, we felt obviously a lot of grief, and there were a number of memorial services planned. But for our family memorial service, we did it here. We came here because this is this was him, and we had it in the chapel, and we interred some of his ashes. And the, I haven't seen if the birch tree is still there, but on the birch tree at the west side. And so that was just um, a meaningful thing to him. And I hate to say it, we haven't been back since 1998, so we haven't been back in this millennium because uh, since Dad's lodge was dedicated. And when I was coming up from the roads from Liberty today, it just felt like coming home. So it's been too long, it won't be so long again. And thank you very much for being here.